Hello, hello, guys. How are you today? How's everything? Is it good? Yes. How are you doing? ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien? How's everything? Pretty good, kind of. Stressed out. All right. Um, okay, chicos. So thank you for being here once again. I appreciate uh, your being here once again. So this is pretty good. Uh, okay. So um, guys, do you have any question? Alguna pregunta que tengan antes de comenzar? Any question, any comment, anything you want to ask? No? Sure. Tell me. Fíjese que ayer durante toda la clase estuve intentando unirme, pero la verdad que sí se me dificultó bastante. Ni en la computadora ni en el teléfono pude. Entonces, este, no sé, algo importante que recalcar del... De, 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 de ayer, algún anuncio o algo, porque bueno, al menos el material sí lo, lo puedo revisar, pero, uh -huh, uh -huh. pero algo importante y también quisiera saber exactamente este, hasta dónde es que íbamos a llegar esta semana con las actividades. Ok, no problem, no problem. Vaya, algo importante era que quedamos que uh, para el día de mañana usted nos iba a mandar pupusitas a toda la casa. Está bueno. Ah. No problem with that. No problem. Ok, Va, ya dijo, chicos. Ya dijo, no problem, dijo. No, este... No, fíjese que... Sí, estamos viendo eh, weather and seasons. Ok, the weather. Que de hecho, we have four, four seasons, right? ¿Cuáles son las four seasons, guys? Which are the four seasons? Mm -hmm. Hey, lo vimos ayer. ¿Qué pasó? Spring, summer, fall, winter. Thank you. Thank you, Crisia. Yes. Spring, summer, uh, fall, and winter. Okay, it doesn't matter the order. So that's what we were studying, Fernando. We were talking about the four seasons that we have. Summer, winter, uh, spring, fall. Doesn't matter the order. But those are the four, those are the four uh, seasons that we have. Okay. Then, after that, we were talking about the, uh, this, uh, I would say, like the weather. When we talk about the weather, uh, we can say that the weather, it's like rainy, it's snowing, it's cloudy. Uh, you can say like it's uh, warm, it's fresh, it's cool. And we're going to check a, check a little bit about that today. So I'm going to do like a little summary before we continue, okay, Fernando? So, so we're going to check it out for you, okay? Okay, teacher, okay, thank you. But pretty much that's what we did yesterday, okay? Okay. So, okay, no problem. Uh, before I continue, actually, I'm going to start checking the attendance. So if you guys are here, you can say present or I'm here or, you know, anything you guys want to say. So, okay, so I'm going to start taking, uh, taking the attendance, as I said before. So I'm going to go with uh, Abigail. I am here. Thank you. Um, give me a second. Let me just move this one here. What about Alejandro Antonio? Anderson Jeremy? Okay, now let's go with Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Briseida Lisbeth. Camila Lisset. Present. Carlos Aníbal. Present. Cecia Gemima. Okay, I got it, Christian. Okay, there we have Cecia. Claudia Maricela. Present, teacher. Thank you. Christian, it says that he's driving, so thank you. Uh, Elsie Gabriela. Okay, 
Ok. Eh, Emilio Isaac. Um, Stella Elizabeth. No? All right. What about Stella Marisol? Are you here? Present. There you are. Thank you so much. Let's go with uh, Fernando Jose. I'm here, teacher. Yes, there you are. Floricia Menjivar. Present. Thank you. Glenda Guadalupe. Present. Okay. Uh, Hazel, Marcela. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present. Iris Milena. Present. Okay, uh, Jaime Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what about with uh, Jaime Ivan? Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. And let's go with Juana Isabel. Bueno, teacher, eh, con respecto a ella dijo que no se iba a poder conectar porque no estaba le estoy hablando, de... mamá. Estoy en la clase. Ok, ok, ok. Um, ok, bueno, gracias, Aníbal, gracias por comunicarnos. <coughs> Igual dígale que siempre trate de comunicarse con, con Andy. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, she knows, um, I'm sorry, he knows what it is. Uh, Karina, Jamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Let's go with Carla Joanna. I'm here, teacher. Good. Carla Marcela. Ella dijo que tenía problemas con la señal también. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, Kevin Joel. Uh, Crisia Dorila. I'm here. And Lazaro. I'm here. Good. Okay, so thank you guys. Now, one of the things I want to say before we continue. Eh, yo sé que a veces siempre hay como problemitas que tenemos o cosas así por las que no nos conectamos o, bueno, diferentes razones. Siempre que pase así, chicos, y eh, gracias por, por avisarme a mí también, porque sí, yo ya sé. Eh, pero también traten ahí de reportarlo con, con, con Andy en el grupo de WhatsApp eh, para que ellos también estén sabiendo, porque ellos están como sacando la, la asistencia de ustedes y de repente eh, pues no, no aparecen como conectados, entonces ahí sí les, les puede afectar, ¿verdad? Entonces eh, siempre eh, déjenle saber a él, a él también, ¿ok? Let him know about that. All right. Um, so, with that being said... Any question, guys? Alguna pregunta? Confesión? No sé, algo? No? no. <laughs> Questions? Confessions? Hidden passions? No? Teacher. No. Tell me. Eh, como usted dijo que podíamos adelantar, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Eh, bueno, es que yo me he topado en la sección 5.13 en la última pregunta. Uf. Okay, that's really high. Okay. Uh, okay, Aníbal. Let's do something. Cuando estemos en esa sección, le puedo ayudar. O de repente, okay. por ahí, por el chat, le voy a mandar ahí, me puede hacer la pregunta y esa la respondo en el chat, ¿ok? Uh, ok. Uh -huh. Porque sí está bien adelantado, pero muy bien ahí. Uh -huh. Good job. Bueno. <laughs> All right. Um, ok. So, uh, let me share my screen right here. No sé si uh, tienen alguna otra pregunta de esta sección ahorita. <laughs> About this section. Uh -huh. No? Remember, guys, that we are in the section number four. Okay? So, that is what... That's what we are studying, okay? Section number four. That's what we have. Okay? So... 
that's pretty much what we have to uh continue working with i will say and so that's what it is now let me i'm just trying to make this uh arrangement here just give me give me just a minute guys just a minute just be a little patient with me and i think i got it okay all right guys so as i said um well, and this is actually part of what Fernando asked, but today we're working on the section number four. So by tomorrow, you have to finish everything, right? Así que para mañana, tendríamos que tener completada, mañana la, a midnight, tendríamos que tener completada ya la section four, okay? So that's what it is. And then you're just missing section five, which is going to be for the next week, okay? That's pretty much what it is. So guys, um, if you guys remember, uh, we were talking about uh, yesterday about like the weather and the seasons, as, as I said. So we had a sprint, we had summer, we had fall, and we had winter. Estas son las estaciones como las temporadas, right? Pero cuando hablamos del weather, el weather puede ser warm, sunny, like raining or hot and humid. It can be cloudy, windy, or it can be snowing. And it can, it can be even cold, you know? So that's the difference. It's the difference entre el weather y las seasons. So remember, the seasons are going to be like las estaciones, right? The spring, summer, fall, and winter. Las temporadas, right? That's what it is. So... Uh, questions about this before we continue? Alguna pregunta sobre esto antes de que continuamos? No? Okay, pretty good if you guys don't have any question. Now, this is what we were talking about yesterday. We were actually working... Or the last thing that we did, it was, uh, you know, this conversation that it was, uh, was what we did. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the audio right here. And um, it's not this one. So I'm going to play the audio right now, guys. And what I'm going to do is that I am going to ask you to listen to the pronunciation of each of the words. Okay. That is what we are going to be doing today. So, give me a second. This is just loading. Okay, there it is. Okay, so, da -da 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 -da. okay. Let me make it big and it will be something from here. Okay. So this is a conversation here. So I need you to please listen and read at the same time. Okay. Oops, looks like it just got frozen. It doesn't want to play. All right. It's so crazy. This thing is so crazy. Anyways, let me just reload it again. Okay. After this, you know, we are going to be trying to read the conversations. Uh, well, this is just one conversation, but we'll see it just in order to see how we are doing um, with our rating, okay? So it's just loading, loading, loading. Hi, everyone. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. Okay. Let's listen to the conversation, okay? Conversation. 
it's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation. Okay, so guys, let's do something. Just to start up with the class, I would like to ask for volunteers in order to read the conversation. So if you want to be a volunteer, you can raise your virtual hand and we will try. Thank you, I got Fernando. So Fernando, you are going to be Pat and <clears throat> thank you, Crisia. You are going to be Julie. By the way, guys, you can use your own names if you want. So let's go. Oh no. <clears throat> What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, uh, Gracia. <laughs> All right, good. All right, cool. Now let's go with Anibal and Iris. Anibal, you're going to be Pat and Iris, you're going to be Julie. Again, you can use your own names, guys. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing in, it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat, in work and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks. Okay, thank you so much, guys. All right, now let's go uh, volunteers. I got Floricia. So Floricia, you're going to be Pat and volunteers. Blanca, okay, okay, no, Jaime, then, después va usted, después le toca, Blanquita, después le toca, okay, Jaime, your turn, so, it's Pat, uh, Floricia, you are Pat, and Jaime, Ivan, you are Julie, let's go. You start, Floricia. You go first. Oh. Uh, your Julie or Pat? Uh, Pat, you are Pat. Mm. Pat. Oh no. Okay. What's oh, the matter? No. What's it's the matter? It's snow. It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your brow? No, sir, I home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is warm and I not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thank you, Julie. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Okay, thank you guys. Now, Blanquita, you are going to be Pat. And who's the next victim? Digo, quien is uh, the next volunteer? <laughs> By the way, ¿quién es la siguiente víctima? Digo, el siguiente voluntario. Who's the next one? Uh -huh. Camila, thank you, Camila. Thank you for being, the, uh, for being the next volunteer. Camila Lisette, you are the next one. So, uh, Pat, it's going to be Blanca. Blanca, you're going to be Pat. And uh, Camila Lisette, you are going to be Julie. Let's go. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's sunny and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? 
No, they are home. Wow, you were in your coat. But my coat is warm and I not wearing both. Okay, let's take a cup of tea. Thank you, Camila. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. All right, not a problem. Thank you so much. Now, guys, uh, let's check on the pronunciation of the few words, okay? Um, okay, aquí, cuando is it? Oh, no, es que ponen un poquito de, de emoción. Hay un exclamation mark, okay? No es como si, oh, no. Uh, no lo hicieron así, okay? No lo hicieron así. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay? Acá hay más emoción ahí, okay? So it's like saying, oh, no, right? De hecho, el inglés se, se presta bastante a ser como bien expresivo. So it's like you can be really expressive with English, you know. So it's like it's like saying, "Oh no!" It's like saying, "Oh no!" What's the matter? Okay, es una pregunta. ¿Qué la entonación de pregunta? What's the matter? Like, what's the problem? Matter and problem are the same thing. Okay, what's the matter means what's the problem, right? It's snowing. Okay, snowing. So. This is one of the things that you have to pay attention to. Like the pronunciation here is matter. It's like matter. What's the matter? Then we have snowing, matter, snowing. Then we got cold, cold. Then we got wearing, gloves, home, not home, but home. Um, then it says isn't, isn't warm. Okay, then we got boots, not boots, mm -mm. boots, boots. Okay, that's what it is. So then, matter, snowing, cold, gloves, home, coat, isn't. Warm, wearing, boots, and that's it. Boots. Okay, now let me ask you guys do you have a question about the meaning of any of the words right here? Questions about that? Or you got it all? Uh huh. Preguntitas? No, okay. teacher. Okay, uh, okay. No hay preguntas sobre el significado de alguna palabra or anything. We good on that? ¿Ya se las pueden todas? ¿Todas esas? Yes? Sure. Tell me. Can you say me the what's the matter, but uh, very fast? What's the matter? <laughs> so it's like, um, ¿qué, qué, qué pasa? Uh -huh. ¿Qué, ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Cuál es el problema? <laughs> What's um, the matter? What's the matter? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because, por eso, porque la chera está toda, dice, dice, oh, no, dice, así como, algo me pasó. Entonces, digo, hey, ¿qué pasó? What's the matter? Mm -hmm. Right? Por eso les digo, hay que ponerle emoción ahí. Si usted no dice, si usted solo dice, oh, no, nadie le va a ir a preguntar, what's the matter? <laughs> Entonces, por eso hay que decir, oh, no. Y le van a ir a preguntar, hey, what's the matter? <laughs> All right. So that's why we have to put emotion, you know. Teacher, but in this case, it could be a little bit sad. Like, oh, no. Yeah, in this case, it could be. It could be. It could be. But again, again, uh, the it all depends. Uh, Actually, she said it kind of sad, actually. You're right. You're right. See, it really looked like sad. But, you know, it's just like to make it. I mean, um, pero tiene que sonar como, como, como triste. Like, oh, no. Right? Like that. But if you say, oh, no. It's like, oh, you say, oh. Oh, no. I yeah. don't have to do this. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to do you know. That's the thing. Hey, ya se comprometió Fernando ahí para mañana. Ya le vamos a mandar la dirección de nuestras casas para que nos envíe ahí hoy. Al mano era unas, unas 20, digo yo. Like 20. 
20 pupusas. <laughs> Anything else? Well. Just, just a, a big Coca Cola, you know, like those things right there, or, or, or I don't know, or, or some chocolate, anything. It'll be good. Mm -hmm. All right. Do, do, you got it right there, okay? No, teacher, guys, the teacher is kidding. <laughs> sí, estoy bromeando, chicos. No van a estar esperando de verdad y las pupusas. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, all right? I'm just kidding. All right. Anyways, so that's pretty much, guys, what we want to talk about today. And you didn't ask me, but, you know, like, uh, just as a way to do uh, a little recap. These are like the four seasons, winter, summer, spring, and fall. Okay. Now, but there is one thing here that it says, wearing. Are you wearing? Wearing comes from the verb wear. This is the base form. Wear. And then we got the present continuous form, which is wearing, okay? But what is wearing? Now, the present continuous is what we're going to study right now. El present continuous es el presente continuo, something that is happening right now. Something that is happening like, like right now, right now. Not tomorrow, not 20 minutes ago or in the future, but right now, ahorita mismo. That's what is happening right now, okay? So, wear means usar. Y wearing, it will mean usando. Porque como estamos en el presente continuo, right? Es como agregarle ando, endo, right? Usando, gritando, saltando, comiendo, pupusas. Mm -hmm. So, anything, right? <laughs> so, something like that, okay? Eating, okay? Now, ojo con esto. Usando... But this is just with clothing, okay? For example, I'm wearing a shirt today. Uh, Iris is wearing, um, I'm going to say, uh, is wearing jeans today, okay? So, but it's just with clothing. Los pero, 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 pero. Ropa. Mm -hmm. Yes, Alejandro? What happened? No? You good? Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. All right. So that's what it is. Pero no puedo decir, I'm wearing my cell phone. I can't say that. Porque si digo, estoy usando mi teléfono, es literal que lo traigo puesto el teléfono. Like, like I'm wearing my cell phone. Como que si el teléfono me lo puse. Okay? So that is, that is the thing. Por eso, wearing is just with clothes. Entonces, teacher, como digo, usando lo otro, pues. Ah, bueno, ahorita le digo, mire, acá lo tenemos. Using, pero este es usando como haciendo uso de un objeto, de una cosa, ¿ok? Utilizándolo. Pero wearing is for clothing. Si usted me dice, I'm, we I'm wearing my computer. Lo, es, lo van a ver así como que literal, usted se Puso la computadora y la carga puesta como ropa, ¿ok? So, no, ¿ok? Wearing is just for clothing, ¿ok? Just with clothes. Keep that in mind. Using is for everything else. So, así que no vamos a decir I'm using a shirt. No, ¿ok? We don't say this. But we can say I'm wearing a shirt, ¿ok? Necesitamos entender la diferencia entre esos dos. Are we good with that? Yes? No? Could it be? Sí, tal vez. Yes. Sí, tal vez. Mm -hmm. We good? Okay. All right. If you guys don't have any question, we we're going to do something right here. And just so you know, básicamente en el present continuous, lo que hacemos es que tenemos el verbo en la forma base, por ejemplo, where, y al final para hacerlo en la para pasarlo a la forma continua, le agregamos ing, que como les decía, sería traducido como el ando, endo, comiendo, gritando, saltando, llorando por ella, no sé, things like that, okay? So, uh, that's what it is. Okay, so, for example, we got a snow. ¿Qué es snow? Nevar o, o nieve, right? And then is snow, snowing. 
okay? We just add the ing, right? For example, I have where, where, wearing, you know, we just add the ing. We can have, uh, for example, I will say, play, playing, eat, eating, and that's what it is. So that's what we are doing right here. We're adding ing. I mean, there are some exceptions when it comes to the written form, but we'll check on that, okay? So if you don't have any question, we will go right now with the next um, part and the objective is by the end of this class, you will learn, uh, you will be able to form the statements using the present continuous. So I'm gonna play this video. I need you to do me a favor, please uh, listen and pay attention, okay? Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted, and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, you're wearing shoes, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are the verb plus ing wearing plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes we're wearing shoes they're wearing shoes when forming negative statements you will just add not after the verb to be let me give an example on the chart They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be, they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right-hand side, and and but, are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's given additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you your family, your friends, and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. 
Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Okay. So this That's is contrast what I was telling you about, guys. Now, I need you to pay attention to something right here, guys. And this is what it is. So we have the present continuous, as I said, we use it to talk about something that is happening right now. Lo usamos para hablar algo que está pasando en el momento, right? Like right now. So, in order to do that, para hacer eso, necesitamos seguir una estructura. We need to follow a structure. And this is pretty easy, actually. Okay. The first thing we need is the subject. Then we need the verb to be, the verb in ing, and the complement. Okay, the subject, you. The bird to be, what form of the bird to be goes with you? Que form of bird to be con you? Bueno, pues va R, so you are. And then the verb in ING, el verbo en ING, que es en el present continuous form. Okay, so for example, aquí estamos usando el verbo wear, and present continuous will be wearing. And then the complement. So puedo decir, you are wearing shoes. You are wearing boots. You are wearing a shirt. You are wearing shorts. You are wearing, I mean, and you change it. You can change the complement. Y el complemento lo podemos ir cambiando. A lo mismo con el verbo. Pero la estructura tenemos que mantenerla en mente. We have to keep that in mind. Subject, verb to be, verb in ing, complement. And then we have... Once again, uh, we have, uh, sorry, we have the negative form. Y si queremos hacer lo negativo, vamos a hacer algo bien fácil, lo mismo que hacíamos con las oraciones con el verbo to be. We just add not after the verb to be. So le agregamos not después del verbo to be. They are not wearing shoes. Ellos no están usando shoes. They are not wearing shorts they are not wearing shirts they are not wearing jeans they are not i mean and you keep going you keep going you can change just that okay so that is a structure that we have but um something that i want you to notice is this okay now we also have what we also have like the not contracted form, but we also have the contracted form. Like you're not is like you aren't. She's not is like she isn't. We're not is like we aren't. They're not is like they aren't. So that's pretty much what we have. Okay. Now, we have right here the conjunctions. Las conjunctions, bueno. Antes, antes de que pasemos a las conjunctions, ¿tienen alguna pregunta sobre la estructura o cómo hacemos o para qué usamos el present continuous? So, do you have any question about that? No? No questions? No question, teacher. Very good. Okay. Si tienen preguntas, pregunten. Siempre me dicen, no, no hay pregunta. O tal vez no me dicen nada. Entonces, pregunten. Si tienen preguntas, ¿ok? Es mejor preguntar. Ok, bye. Then, we have the conjunctions. Las conjunctions, they help us to join two sentences. Like, they have two sentences, and it help us to join right here. It's this one, this one, and this one. So, they can help us to join the two sentences. For example, and, it's like say E, right? So, nos ayuda a unir two sentences. Por ejemplo, it's a snowing, es una sentence. It's very cold, it's another sentence. So, tenemos two sentences. Pero para no sonar como raro diciendo oraciones, solo oraciones, oraciones, por todo estar saneado, podemos usar las conjunctions. Y es para decir, it's a snowing. O sea, hay una gran diferencia de decir, está nevando, Está helado. Aquí yo diga, está nevando y está helado. Right? So it's like, it's snowing and it's very cold. 
So, and help us to join two ideas, two sentences. Okay. Now, we also have, I'm wearing a coat. And it says, I'm wearing a coat. And then we have, but, pero. So, this help us to show contrast. Como para mostrar un contraste. Estoy usando mi abrigo, pero I'm not wearing boots. So, like, I'm wearing my coat, but I'm not wearing boots. So, these help us right here to make basically what we call um a contrast between this sentence and these other sentences. But both of them, and, and but, they help us to join two sentences or more sentences. Questions about that, guys? Is it clear? Questions? No? Not the chat. Okay. Okay, let's see it then. I'm going to give you right now, guys, uh, five minutes. Let's work on this exercise. And let's see, Fernando, do me a favor. Can you read the instructions in English? Can you read all this in English, please? Okay. Instruction. Um... It. Instruction. Look at the picture and input the correct answer in blank. Some sentence will have a negative connotation mm -hmm. and some positive connotation. Uh, follow the example. My name is Claire. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too, or I'm wearing high heels too. Thank heels you so much. That's okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Now, just one thing, Fernando. This is suit. Okay. Suit. Mm -hmm. If you say sweet, it's like doing something. Sweet. Mm -hmm. So, suit. Suit. Okay. Suit. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so, yes. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's what we're going to do, you know. So we are going to look at the image. What images? Like this one. For example, it says, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. Okay. Yeah, she's wearing high heels and she's wearing a green suit. Okay. So here we're going to complete it. And we're going to say, I, you can say, I am like, like this. Or you can say, I'm wearing high heels. And that's what you're going to do. Then you go with number number one, number two. So I'm going to give you five minutes. Five, cinco minutos. I'm going to give you five minutes so you guys can work with this right here, okay? So questions about the activities? If you've done it, just raise your virtual hand. Si ya lo, lo, cuando lo termino, levante su manita virtual. And if you finish it, just... Raise your virtual hand, okay? I'm going to give you five minutes. Let me know if you have a question, okay? Teacher. Tell me. Go up is so weird. Go up, yes, mm -hmm. go up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you up a little bit, please? No, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, right here. <laughs> okay, uh, you should start here on this one. There are in pupusa for you, so. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Listen to pupusas, then. <laughs> and I love pupusas, you know. Yeah, me too. It was favorite food. Me too, yeah, that's my favorite food, you know. <laughs> Anyways. So, can you go up? Go up or down? No, up. Like go this? Up. Yeah. Well, you don't need this. More. Just aquí necesita comenzar. You, you need to start here. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I read the instructions? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, what is the correct pronunciation? Um, 
about con connotation. Connotation. Con connotation. What is that? Connotation. Connotation. <laughs> connotation. Okay. Connotation. Timing. Okay, guys. Let me know when you finish. I see Floricia, Crisia, Iris, and Blanca. You finish, so that's pretty good. Sure. Uh huh. Um, I probably con este. Con la segunda de la tres. Mm. Sorry, can you say that again? Uh, ¿Puedo repetir? Can you say that again, please? Oh, este, no sé qué significa sí. En la segunda de la tres, de la conversación tres. Uh, ok. Hi. Hi. Okay. Let me take it there. All right. This is a tie. For what? Yes. Mm -hmm. You got it. Okay, gracias. Thank you. You're very welcome. Hey guys, two more minutes. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Just keep your hands up. All right. Teacher. Okay, tell me. Uh, what is the meaning of wearing? Wearing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, wearing, it's actually, you know, for example, I'm going to say right now. Uh, today or right now, I'm wearing a shirt. Okay, I'm wearing a shirt. For example, Floricia is wearing a, what's, what color is that? Is it like? Skype, no, it's like blue, dark blue. I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah, okay, light blue. Then, so Floricia is yeah. wearing a light blue uh blouse, so that is usando, right? Wearing usando, mm -hmm. okay, um. All right, let's see. Okay, guys. Um, let's start with this. And I'm going to ask, let's see, with number one right here. 
This is going to be for Crisia. Help us with number one, please. It's raining, but I I am not wearing a raincoat. Okay, it's raining, but I am not, or you can say, I'm not wearing a raincoat. Pretty good. All right, number two. That's going to be for Iris. Help us with that one, Iris, please. It's very sunny, but they are Sorry. not wearing songless. Uh, let's read it all. Like, leer todo. No, solo por partes. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's hot today. Toshi and Noriko are wearing short and t shirt. It's very sunny, but they are not wearing sunglasses. 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 T shirts. Not teachers. T-shirts. <laughs> okay. All right. It's just a joke. I like to do that. All right. So then let's go with number three. Blanquita, help us with number three, please. She is wearing a sweet today. Suit today. He... He... Is wearing a brown shirt. Cheers. Brown shirt. Mm -hmm. Cheers. So he is, or he can be contracted as well. It's up to you. He's wearing a brown shirt. Thank you so much. Now let's go with the next one. That's going to be for Abigail. Help us with the next one. Abigail. Abigail Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, but he. And uh, tea today. Um, tea, uh, Thai. Or Thai today. Thai today. Uh -huh, Thai but today. he what? He is, he are, uh, he's not. He's... But, yeah, but he is not wearing a tie today. Yes, good job. But he is not wearing a tie today. Or we can do it contracted as well, like he is. And remember that, okay? And number four, let's go. And that one is going to be for Ingrid. Help us with number four, please. Okay. 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 It's cold today, but Katy isn't wearing a coat. She is wearing sweating shirt, gloves, and a hat. Yes, that's exactly what it is. She is wearing a sweatshirt, um, sorry, sweatshirt, um, gloves, and a hat. All right, let's go with the next one, with number four. That's going to be for Jaime, please. This one right here. She, she, she's not wearing books. Okay, she isn't or she is not. Wearing boots. Acuérdense, también podemos ponerlo contracted como tenemos acá. ¿verdad? Les mencionaba yo eh, que tenemos las formas contracted as well. So, cualquiera de los dos está bien. Contracted or not contracted. And the last one, Christian, help us with number four, please. Okay. Uh, she is wearing sneakers. Right. And she is wearing sneakers. And if we check on the answers, that's pretty much what we have right here. Okay, guys, don't tell me no. Do you have a question? <laughs> what is your question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No me digan que no. ¿Alguna tiene que ver? ¿Alguna duda por ahí? Y si no, pues qué bueno. Pero si no, pregúntenme. No se queden con las dudas. Uh -huh. Any question? You sure? No. Tell me, tell me, Christian. Why, uh, in this case, uh, do you use a uh, half or another? Uh, in in the wearing, uh -huh. do you use another uh, half or another bear? No, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. You can use any verb. Um, 
right now, because it's just like an introduction, we are using wearing. But you can use any verb that you want. So ahorita como es una como una introducción, estamos usando solo un verbo, que es wearing, right? Pero sí, usted puede usar cualquiera. Por ejemplo, acá tengo unos ejemplos. La forma base de, de play, uh, perdón, de jugar, es, es, es play en English, right? Es la forma base. Y si queremos pasarla a la forma del present continuous, right? Que aquí lo tenemos. Tiene que ser plain. ¿Y qué hacíamos? Agregamos ing al verbo, right? ing. Y que les decía, al final lo usamos para hablar de cosas que estamos haciendo en el momento, right? Eh, y que al final es como agregarle un ando, endo, right? Like jugando, gritando, saltando, comiendo, right? For example, we have eat, eating, right? Okay. In here, we have some examples. For example, I can say, we are eating pupusas because Fernando gave us some. Okay, estamos comiendo pupusas porque Fernando nos dio algunos, okay? So we are eating pupusas because Fernando gave, gave us some, okay? So that's what it is, okay? Now, así que sí, Kristen, podemos usar este present continuous, lo podemos usar con cualquier verbo, porque el present continuous es para hablar de cosas que están pasando en el momento. Solo tenemos que seguir una estructura. We need to follow a structure. For example, necesitamos un subject. After that, we need a verb to be. Okay, the verb to be. The verb in ing. That's the complement. For example, right here we have am. I is the subject. The verb to be is am. Then we have the el verbo en ing, que sería wearing, and then the present continues. Y el complemento, shirt. Por ejemplo, acá tenemos otro um, ejemplo, right? I don't know what's going on. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have um, they are playing soccer. For example, they are playing soccer. So we got play. And then with ing, and that is playing, play, playing soccer. So yes, as long as you follow the structure, uh, tan pronto como um, tan pronto como se pueda seguir la estructura, uh, esta estructura, puedo usar cualquier verbo. Porque acuérdese que, pues, ahí usted va a usarlo para hablar de cosas que are happening right now in the moment, right? Por eso se llama present continuous, porque es, continúa, está pasando en el momento. That's what it is. So, yes, that's the answer. Any other question, guys? I have a question. Tell me, Ingrid. Eh, yo estaba viendo que, por ejemplo, en el verbo play, eh, solamente se le agrega el, el ing. Pero en el caso, digamos, studying o en otros verbos, no se le como cambia la y por ing. Sí. There are some exceptions. Fíjense que hay un par de reglas. Por ejemplo, los verbos. Yeah, y les voy a mostrar acá. En ese caso, study. Es una excepción. Study termina en why, right? Entonces, lo que se hace. Esta es una exception. Quitamos la letra why. Y ponemos el ing. Esta. Ring. Ok. Esa es una regla. Ahora, los verbos que terminan en I, en, en uh, E, drive, for example, vamos a remover la E y vamos a poner ING. For example, drive, bing. Ok, you see. And those are a couple of rules. Y hay un par de eh, reglas como estas. These are two of the most uh, common. La otra es que si el verbo, y pueden anotar eso, si el verbo termina en consonante, vocal consonante, las últimas tres letras, se va a doblar la última consonante. Por ejemplo, run, running. And those are, esas son como las rules más comunes, the most common rules. So run, running. 
Tenemos una consonant, vowel, consonant. So rent, running. Drive, driving. And that's what it is. I mean, those are some rules that we're going to uh, continue studying. Uh, but as of right now, you just need to, like, I would say kind of focus on that. Mm -hmm. But you should be good. So you can, uh, like, take these three rules right there. I don't know. Esas serían como algunas de las reglas más... Eh, bueno, de hecho, esas son las exceptions for now. Mm -hmm. Es como podemos um, crear los verbos o pasarlos al ing form. So that's what it is. So, any question about that, guys? Teacher, mm -hmm. y the verbos play don't change the the why. why. Mm -hmm. Good question. Buena pregunta, Kristen. Dice que no, porque en este caso study es una excepción, es an exception. Entonces por eso, solo con este, con este se hace esto, con study, study, studying. I mean, I, miren, en inglés hay varias ex excepciones en cuanto a algunas cosas que la regla esa que les estaba explicando, por ejemplo, no va a aplicar. ¿okay? Por ejemplo, esta de, de drive, tenemos otro verbo. Tenemos el verbo, por ejemplo, be, okay, que es ser, ¿verdad? Pero ese, ¿saben qué ese? Es una excepción. No vamos a remover la E y vamos a poner been. No, vamos a poner been. Ok. Estas, de hecho, esta es como la más común. Y miren, no es que hayan muchas excepciones, pero conforme vamos avanzando en la clase, yo les voy a ir mencionando las excepciones que hay para que ustedes las mantengan en mente. O sea, no se preocupen, hacer, ay, teacher, un puño de excepciones, ¿qué hago? ¿Qué no sé qué? No, vamos a ir despacito, ahí, o sea, uno por uno, o sea, todo a su, a su tiempo, no les quiero decir todo de una vez, porque si no van a decir, no, teacher, ¿qué pasó? ¿Vean? Pero sí, hay, hay excepciones. Y en cambio de eh, esa, de B, eh, ahí se nos aplica la excepción, eh, perdón, la regla de quitar la E, remover la E y agregar el ING. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. So, there are some things that are exceptions, right? As, as I'm telling you. Pero, conforme vamos eh, ahorita pasando con todo el tiempo, nos vamos a ir dando cuenta de las exceptions y las vamos a ir aprendiendo. So, You're good, guys. Ahorita con que logremos comprender la estructura, we're good. Porque mañana we're, vamos a comenzar a ver las just now questions. That's what it is, right? So, with the present continuous. So, any other question, guys, before I let you go? Teacher, yo entré un poquito tarde de la clase, entonces no estaba cuando me mencionó en la lista. Okay, no problem, Alejandro. No problem. I got you here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you for saying that. All right, guys. So, if you don't have any question, entonces su tarea va a ser eh, esa. Tratar de comprender acá que no haya ninguna duda. Y si tienen preguntas mañana a primera hora, me las hacen y yo con gusto les puedo ayudar. Esta parte. Necesitamos comprender esto para después pasar a las just now questions que están acá. All right. So, with that being said, guys, I will say uh, see you tomorrow. You guys take care and enjoy the rest of your night, okay? So, bye-bye, guys. You guys bye. take care. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.